Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley and last episode I kind of ended rather abruptly because a couple things happened that Helper G has completed their task. Hmm. We'll have to check up on that. Um, first of all, I didn't expect that the episode had gone that long that, that quickly. I really thought I was 15 minutes into it. I was going to have time to go and play with silage and do some other things. So that kind of caught me off guard. And secondly, we got the great demand notice for these guys. And more so than that, it's where they uh, um, pop into here where it's going to be over here which is the end of the train line that's where we dumped off that one grain well, I'm thinking it was canola but I'm not sure now canola? Yeah, it might have been um, so I think we're going to take all of the sugar beets dump them in to the uh, does it give me a name? it does not this this cell point right here This not really a cell point, it's a storage point from here you can dump them into the train then we'll take them over there and sell it all at once we're coming in, not at great numbers, 200 per thousand liters, I think it is. But, um, and it's really similar to what's going on right here, but it's a great excuse to go use the train, and I'll take any excuse to go use the train. So let's uh, go grab a couple of tippers. Now, first of all, let's go find out what that was. I just restarted the sower and sent him on his way. I can't think of anything else that's running. Yeah, he's down in the middle. Let's go find out why. We filled him up last time and got him started and, and uh, not long after that ended the episode. What is with you? You're at the end. Huh. Okay. I guess we... Uh, had a helper that decided he uh, wanted a day off. I'll try it again. All right, you happy now? Seems to be. Okay, try this again. Let's go get a couple of tippers and fill up these sugar beets. Now, how many tippers did we use to, or did it take to fill? this bay. I'm thinking 10 to 12. That's kind of how many uh, tippers it's going to take to move it all to the other spot. So I may do a lot of clipping in and out of the, the, the travel time, even the fill time. It takes quite a while for this conveyor belt to, uh, to fill these up. We'll see. A half hour this time is going to go away awfully quick too. Let's, let's grab actually this one. That looks like the easiest one. Right in there. My left is right, my right is left. And my front is back and back is front. Oh, it really hurts my brain to back up while looking from this direction. Am I there? I'm there enough. Okay. The left right or the right right or the wrong left? Or the right wrong I don't know now if I pull in here do I need to turn the conveyor on that's the first question that comes to my mind Get in like so and there he goes okay I'll let that fill I'll go watch this process So it's all gradually depleting the pile, going up this conveyor, who is attached right there to this guy. And just pretend that's filling, okay? And uh, it's probably meant to be running straight rather than pivoting over. But uh, it extends further out this end than on the sides. And we're filling that up. more than halfway of one tipper. So yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of time to accomplish this. So I'll probably cut quite a bit of it out. We'll show the first 
complete run of this. And then maybe advance over to the last complete run. So most of our time is spent on the train. All right, almost 14,000. These guys are 15,000 each. There we go. Same thing here, so we're looking for 30,000 to finish this one. Um, zoom out a little bit. There's blue over there in the top left of that field. A New Holland tractor, affectionately known as blue. <laughs> so we're still running. Uh, says it's cloudy, or else what's coming is cloudy. I never know. I would think that's the forecast for right now, but apparently it's, it's not, because it's not cloudy. So it must be the one that is yet to come. Otherwise, everything's looking good here. Um, 22,000. Do we still have the same uh, growth? Yeah, looks like we're going to get it done. All in the same cycle. Good. 25,000. How's the pile looking? It's going to come to the point where we're going to have to move that thing deeper in. That's easier said than done. You can steer the red one, and with the green one attached, it'll kind of pivot around with it. But pivot this one this way, we hit over here, this post. So, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. Might be easier to just take a tractor and just bang the whole system further in, but that's probably not the best way. Anyway, let's pop in the cab here. We can see the, uh, uh, the trailers, the tippers, back there in the mirrors. It always amazes me how a game can independently calculate all the different parts with their own suspensions, their own bumps they're hitting, angles and pivots and all that, and then show you the reverse in the mirror. And it looks pretty real. I'm impressed. No traffic. Now we gotta find the right car on that train for sugar beets. Hmm. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. I can work with that. Eh, about there. Let's see. That's the wrong one. So G, that one, and I. There it goes. Let's go a little further forward. Now let's look in this one. Is the tractor in the right position? Looks like it. Yep, there we are. I'm just kind of peeking all the windows. Go forward till this guy lines up correctly. Out there, that looks good. And tractor's still in the center. There we go. A little further, we can peek in the back door. <laughs> and then we'll try the overhead view. Something like that. Let's go get into the load. Stay in the lane when I do that. Well, I guess I'm committed. I'll pass them and surprise them by not pulling in front of them. Now, what well, that looks like the next stage of growth to me. Actually, I guess it is. This was, yeah, we did the uh, field 15 over there after this one, so they're not going to match anymore. Good. So it looks like we will get that completed. Now, I guess we'll follow the road and this will take us right into the best spot to curve back in. A 
Helper C has completed. Alright. Put you... You're clear up at that end. Yeah, that's a long sprint. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, so with that... We're fertilized. For good. So we're done with this field. Now that does kind of take the fun away of running the weeder and doing some other things, so... Let me find a time where we'll, we'll switch that back. Um, this is supposed to go the other way. Well, tell you what, let's go over here, roll the other tipper forward, and then wash this guy off and park him. Whoa, there we are. That's not where I thought I would land. 10,000, only two thirds done. How's the pile looking? I don't know how big the radius is. That's right, there was that setting in there for changing the angle. And there's something to do with a hired hand. And I'm not real sure how that works just yet. A hired hand would rotate this around to grab more. I don't know. When we run out and can't reach anymore, maybe we'll play with that, see what that does. Anyway, jump out of here. <clears throat> Go put this guy away. Now, did I switch this back? I did, right? Plant grows slow, yeah. Okay. hit that instead of that. I probably will forever. At least I didn't hit the E instead of the R that time and up back inside the tractor again. Done that a few times too. Too many buttons. Let's wash that rust right off of there. Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yep. I'm gonna make it look like brand new. Okay, this guy. Uh, you gotta have a little dirt on a tractor, otherwise it doesn't look like it's been used. All right, let's go. Uh, kind of going this way. If I park it right, I can fill it after I'm after I've parked it. Right about there. R. And Q. And he's full over there. Okay, we're in business. Side? Yeah, that was really weird. The front trailer is selected. So it should have been the one to dump. And even this one, when it went, it dumped to the side instead of the rear. That was odd. All right. Meet you over there.
actually seeing uh, a bit of this go away. More than I was expecting this quickly. That's four so far. Let's see what it ends up being. But it seems like we made a lot of trips. I don't know if they were all full though. And now that I think about it, we did a lot of 12,000 uh, liter trips or tippers. I think so. So maybe there aren't, aren't as many in here as I thought. We'll see. Well, it is dwindling. What are we doing here? We're almost there. Yep, yeah, good. You can see the setup that I want to create for the final area that does the sugar beets and the potatoes. Look kind of like this. These all set up, but sticking out the back end if we can. And the double bay shed, maybe two for potato and, you know, in other words, a double for potatoes and a double for the beets. I think that'd be the best way to do it because we get an awful lot of these guys out of a small field let alone the size of those fields up there. I think it was seven and eight or something like that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go empty these guys. Try this this way again. It seemed to work fine last time. There we go. You got to look through the window to make it work right. Ah, no peeking. There we go. Right in there. still dropping and I'm noticing something. It's dumping in the very far right corner as well. As if this green conveyor is truly going to reach everything in this bay. So that's really good to know. That means I can set this up permanently in the next uh, the next setup and not worry about having to move it. Just get it centered right in the middle and it'll be fine. Hardest part's going to be Never mind about that. That was weird. It was dumping back there in that corner. It was dropping. Yet now it won't reach. Okay. Well, let's... First of all, kill that. And let's experiment. Now, what was with the hired hands? That's this guy? I don't know. Is this the green one? Let me move it. Nope, or not. Um, E, see if I can do this better. What happens if I do it over here? Now if I try to move it. Yeah, now I'm in this one, okay. So if I were to hire, that's not an option here. Okay. And I'm up in the air, which is odd. That's the position it was in when it was sitting up on the... Let's see, can I release or anything? Exit vehicle... Stop engine. Hmm. Nope, not that one. Okay. Bail out and go back. <laughs> Let's go to this one then. Alright, so this says... Well, said. Alright, start engine, hire worker. Well, that's interesting.
So he's kind of doing things on his own here. Well, he's filling up the... Uh, okay. He's rotating back and forth to fill up the tipper. I thought it had something to do with how to load up the conveyor. Well, he's pulling out of this back corner again. Okay, we'll let him. I may have to go on higher him each time. No, we have a problem again. Okay. So let's play with the... Where is it? I'm in this one now. Okay, let's go back. There I am. I'm confused. <laughs> this one. Alright. Dismiss worker and exit vehicle. Okay, we'll dismiss worker. Let's change the angle, Y, to 25 and hire worker. Okay, we're moving quite extreme. Yeah, I think that is for building a large pile. And not just piling it all in one spot, but actually swinging it back and forth. And, you know, building a big mound out here. It has nothing to do with the loading it in. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Unhire you and... Now we'll start engine. Actually, let's see if there's anything I can do here. So X unfolds you. Turn the wheel this way and drive back a bit. Okay. That seems to be working. Now zoom out over here. And let's extend this guy like that. Okay, well, we'll just make this work. Doesn't seem to have access to this anymore. I'm so surprised this is off the ground. Well, I'd say we did a pretty good job there. I'm guessing that next ep or next uh, tipper is probably going to finish it. Let's get these guys delivered. This is actually quite the view from here. I can make this turn. E? curious, if I pull this forward, does it switch automatically to the other trailer? It does not in the symbols, even though it will work. Let's see, I. Hmm. I guess if I hit control I, then the other one would start to open. Yeah. Always analyzing the game, trying to figure out little things. Let's go fill this last tipper. Let's see what this process looks like from inside the cab. What could possibly go wrong, right? No. 
Not bad. Alright, well let's leave him to that. Keep an eye on this. So I was able to work that, let's see, further in, which is why it's catching the back wall. Although it's not catching, let's see, start the engine, it's not catching that pile there. And I'm hitting post over here, aren't I? No, I'm not. Why can't I go any further? Okay, we got that. Now let's take it this way, which should start... Hmm. That's what's going to be hard, getting these last piles. Okay, so... I need to jump this thing and pull this forward a bit. Um, about like that. Alright, so turn the wheel that way and drive it. He's not on anymore. Okay, this way. About like that. Where are you landing? So let's extend you out that way. Move you forward some more. Okay. Let's pull the tractor forward a little bit more. This is a little bit tough doing it by yourself. This may be an operation that's better for uh, multiplayer. So we can keep moving that tractor forward and back while someone else is constantly manipulating this thing. Um, yeah, getting that into there is not going to be easy, and I can't drive the green one because the wheel's off the ground. So let's just try to do this. Now, yeah. Well, tell you what, I'm going to finagle this thing off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I got it in there, but that was actually quite painful. So I had to keep maneuvering this end over into here, but there's no way to line them up again, so I had to then bring it back over here and dump it. The last of it would probably be a lot easier with a bucket. And I can see that now. Anyway, let's go dump this last one off and drive a train before we run out of time. So if anybody has successfully used the conveyor belts like that, let me know. Just got to thinking that, well, I, I call it the green ones only because I painted it green, but if there was a green one sticking out of both sides, in other words, in multiple directions, all aiming toward the red one in the center, then maybe it would have worked just fine. What do you think? So the red one sticking out the back end, the green one heading, you know, coming from the right side into it, from the left side into it, and from the, I don't know, two or three of them all feeding that one red one. That's my thought. In which case we could dump and fill the whole barn up and not worry about uh, um, having to maneuver them around like that. Anyway, let's jump into here. We want the far train. Uh... Let's sneak through there. Now, is it this guy? I don't know. Let's find out. It could be the same one. He may do all of them. And the, that uh, little red one at the end might be something like wood chips. If that's so, I should be able to hit R and get sugar beets. Aha! There's 133,000 liters of it. Really? Yep, I didn't miss a digit this time. Okay. Let's get out here where we can see this. Slowly. There we are. So 133,000. Let's. I think we estimated this one was going to take 120,000. That was the rough guess last time based on only filling like 12%. Let's 
see how close that guess was. One third is 40,000, so I think that is right. I'm up on 50% and 60,000. Yeah, 120,000 for each of these. Good. Uh, it's filling both. I was not expecting that. Okay, then we're only going to get 120,000. Huh. Wow, I'm getting quite jittery in here. I've been running the episode for a while. I've clipped a lot out. That's probably why my... No, I'm fine here. It's just in here. Okay. So, 120,000 is all we're going to get in one train load. Huh. Now, if I do roll forward to the red one. Ooh, hello. You're opening up. Let's see if I can back up. There we go. R. Sugar beets, start. It works. Okay, well, that should get us the 133. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> and that door closes automatically? It does. Okay. Hopefully we can dump from there. I didn't actually see the bottom of that car. That's this one. Yep, there's a dumper in there. Okay. Here's the, uh, <clears throat> the grass field and the sheep over there. These days we own we may own this one too. There's the diner right there. Good dinner last night. Nice reflections on the water. Big teapot. <laughs> now start slowing them down. Now it'd be nice if there was a sign over here verifying I've got the right spot. Okay, full brakes, full brakes. There. Yeah, back a touch. All right. So, why? I. Whoa, that dumps fast. <clears throat> Dumping all three, I wonder? I think it is. Nope, it wants to do that car individually. $26,000 there. There we go. And I. 26 and 3. Okay. 28, $29,000 added to the budget there. And we have gotten rid of our sugar beets. There's the sawmill. We'll get back and visit that one soon. That's going to be fun. We want to use this to sell it. Right in here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my fingers on the WASD just in case I need to steer. <laughs> the only thing that works on here is the go and stop. some serious stopping. Next time we use this is probably going to be for the logs. I'll just pull it right in there. But I think we're going to call this one done. Wow, I have to scroll this mouse a lot to get in here. Let's see, was it something like plus and minus? Ah, the minus. That's smoother too. 
Okay. Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. This has been fun. Am I crossing the road? I am. Back up. Anyway, I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.